it's time to transplant our onions. So before you transplant your onions into your garden, you need to harden them off, which means that they were used to the greenhouse environment. And since they're going to be outside now in the elements, they need to have a little bit of time to acclimate to that. So what I do with my onions is I take them out on a kind of a cloudy day and then I have them outside somewhere, you know, in the fresh air sitting um, somewhere for two hours in the shade and then I put them back in again. The next day I do the same thing except I leave them out for four hours and then put them in at night again. And the third day um, I might do the same thing again or I might just leave them out overnight. But you know what? There have been seasons where I haven't done the hardening off thing and I just, I was in a rush and I put them right straight into their garden soil and it was fine because onions are cold hardy and they're, they're really, they're easy to grow because they're so hardy. So try to harden them off if you have time. If not, you know, don't worry about it too much. Onions need full sun. So find a place where they're not gonna be shaded out and they like loose, fertile and well-drained soil. So waste, raised beds are great for that. So onions really like loose soil because you know their bulbs expand and they like to grow their roots down. Um, so I like to double dig my soil. I don't like uh, tilling because it does destroy the soil structure and the earthworms and all that. But again, do what you gotta do. If you have to till, fine, till, it's totally cool. Um, let me show you how I double dig my garden real quick and then I'll show you how to transplant those guys. This is my broad fork. One, two, three, four, five, five times. Looks like a big fork. I love broad forks because they are really good for incorporating, incorporating compost into soil and into loosening soil instead of tilling it and using mechanical things like rototillers. Um, I don't like to step in my garden beds because that will compact the soil. So you just step right there on the bar move it over and wiggle it. Repeat. Repeat. And then do it here. And then I just go through this with a rake and just kind of get it nice and smooth. See how, see how, look at this. Oh, a little worm. They like this and nice soil, nice and loose and super not invasive. So I love it. Good workout too. It's a good workout, double digging builds good muscles but it's hard work so again don't feel feel bad about tilling it's it's all good now um, onions are heavy feeders so um, I incorporated compost into this bed already and I'm going to also use some organic pelletized fertilizer first thing I do is I just go ahead and make a row across just one like this now I incorporate the fertilizer with my hands. I don't wear gloves when I garden. This is why my hands look like this, but I like to feel the soil. And it's nice and loose, and I just kind of go like this and work it in. Next step, I make a little trench. Now, of course, you could use a garden, garden thingy if you wanted to, but I, again, I like to feel the soil. So basically two or three inches down. Okay, I'm gonna show you my great trick for growing great onions now. This is how I transplant them. Get yourself a little bucket of water here. Then take, take these ones and invert them gently and carefully. And then put them in like this. Put them in the water and swish them around. See how that, how that separates the roots like that and then it's really easy to take them out individually 
And now you're going to put them in here. And put them in like that. Okay. These roots are not that great in this one for some reason, but um, they're all right. They're going to be doing good. So now I just put them right here in the soil. And then three to four inches apart, I just tuck those little guys in. One at a time, very carefully separate them from their friend's roots and make sure the roots point down. Make sure the roots are not kind of, you know, lying, lying parallel. They need to point straight down and tuck them in. You don't have to compact the soil too much. And go like that and just keep doing this. And I know they lo it looks terrible. You're like, wow, these are going to be onions. And yes, they will be. It'll be all fine. I, they always look weird when you transplant them at first. When you run out of space at the end of a row, don't just let them lie around in the sun and the wind to dry out the roots. Put them back in the water and then prepare the other row as well. Now, in terms of spacing, see how Walla Wallas get, like how big they get usually? So you just kind of envision them growing, you know, and spacing them. So, you know, three to four inches. I like to plant my stuff together closely because I have raised beds and I have fertile soil. Okay, so next one, next row. Again, lay down some fertilizer. Incorporate it in. Be careful not to disturb the other guys too much over here. When you're ready to put the fertilizer in, the other thing you can do instead of your hand, go like this with a little, uh, whatchamacallit, fork, hand trowel fork kind of thing, and mix it in like that. And then just do the same thing over again. Transplant your little babies. And then they're going to be spaced just about like that. Careful not to disturb, you know, not to disturb them. So just be aware. You know, one thing I do in my garden is I tuck in a few onions here and there everywhere because um, some pests don't like the smell of onions. So like, for example, in my lettuce bed, I will tuck some of these in and have a salad bar. So I don't know what happened, but those last two pots, the roots of the onions were pretty uh, short. And it might have been because I used some older seedling mix starting mix I don't know but it's more like long like this you should see them longer like this and that's why we grow them in deep pots like that so again um, make sure that when you plant them when you transplant them when you put them in here you know right here so dig your little hole here and then put them in like this don't, 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 don't put soil on it when they're like this. You know what I'm saying? Like here, they need to be straight down, straight down. And then you're going to put your soil on top. I'm getting dive bombed by a hummingbird here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the copra onions. The copra are the storage onions. So I just laid down a, a band of fertilizer. I'm gonna mix it in. See, this time I'll do it with a trowel. Give you some different options here. Mix it in like this. And then 
these roots are a little bit nicer. I don't know what happened to those Walla Wallas, guys. You know, stuff happens. Um, go like this, dig a nice little hole here, fill it in, tuck it in about this depth so that you can see those two uh, tops coming out. See how I just, I do a lot of digging with my, with, uh, with my hands. You could totally use a trowel if you wanted to. In fact, why don't I demonstrate that? So use the trowel. See? Tuck your dude in there. Yep. Tuck it in. There you go. Grow good, grow good. And uh, I'll just use my hands. They are already so rough. I don't care. See, that's what they're supposed to look like. That's why we plant in deep pots like this to have roots like this. For some reason, those wallas, you know, I had them sitting outside a bunch to harden off before I got to them because I had a lot of goat babies being born and, you know, I was busy. I couldn't transplant them in time. And I think they might have just gotten their roots and their feet too wet. And so the roots are looking all kind of, um, I don't know, something happened with all the rain. However, it's going to be a great experiment. And you'll, you'll see in a few months what it's going to be like. Watch for the next video. And eat your onions.